Narrow AI versus general AI. What's the difference? Today, we're breaking down a big question in the world of artificial intelligence. What's the difference between narrow AI and general AI? Let's start with narrow AI, also called weak AI. This is the type of AI we use every day. And it's really good at specific tasks. For example, Siri or Google Assistant understands your voice. Netflix recommends movies based on what you like. Face recognition unlocks your phone. But here's the thing. Narrow AI only does one thing well. Siri can answer questions. But it can't play chess or drive a car. Each system is built for one job and it doesn't think like a human. Now let's talk about general AI or strong AI. This is the dream. A machine that can think, reason, and learn just like a human across any task. Imagine a robot that can write poems, cook a meal, solve math problems, understand emotions, all without being programmed for each task. Sounds cool, right? But here's the catch. General AI doesn't exist yet. Scientists are still working on it, and it's one of the biggest goals in the AI world. So why does it matter? Knowing the difference helps us understand what AI can and can't do right now. Today's AI is powerful but limited. And while general AI is still in the future, narrow AI is already helping us in healthcare, transport, education, and more. At CT Academy, we explain AI and tech in ways anyone can understand. Visit ctglobal.my. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.